Welcome to Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda. Have you ever found yourself in a situation that you were totally unprepared for and that you knew it was beyond your capabilities? Well, that happened to a poor chap back in 1850 in a Methodist chapel in Colchester in England. It was a small enough church and there was a guest preacher was supposed to be coming to speak and there was a blizzard that day and the, the speaker couldn't make it. And so you've got 12 people sat in this little uh, church with the, the snowstorm raging outside and looking at each other saying, well, what's going to happen? And eventually, because nobody else was prepared to do it, a very simple laboring man stood up and made his way to the pulpit. He knew that he was out of the depth, his depth. He was not a preacher. He was not an educated man. But he opened up the Bible in front of him, and there he's, his eyes fell upon this verse in Isaiah 45 and verse 22. Look unto me and be saved all the ends of of the earth. And so this simple laboring man began to preach, trusting that God would give him the words to say. Because after all, the scripture says, open your mouth and I will fill it and do not fear what words to speak on that day. And so he began to take one word at a time. Look unto me and be ye saved all the ends of the earth. Look. And he talked about what it meant to look. And then unto, that you had to look unto, you had to look towards something but who me look unto me and and so he took one word at a time and said whatever he could find to say about it and after about 10 minutes he was totally done he had nothing left to give it was probably one of the most unimpressive uninspiring sermons in christian history uh, he couldn't even pronounce the words of the text correctly and then looking down into the sparse congregation he spotted somebody who he had never seen before, a young 15-year-old boy who was sitting there looking absolutely bored out of his mind. And the makeshift preacher looked at him and nothing else to say. He said, young man, you look very miserable. Well, of course, the young man looked miserable. I mean, he didn't even want to be in that church that day. He had been on his way to his father's church to listen to his father preach and, uh, even though the young man was not a Christian himself, and because of the snowstorm, he couldn't make it, so he'd popped into this little Methodist church. And he was there just thinking this, I've never heard a sermon as bad as this. And when the preacher eyeballed him and said, young man, you look very miserable, that 15-year-old boy felt like running out. And then the preacher said to him, and you always will be miserable. Miserable in life? and miserable in death if you do not obey this text. And then the preacher looked at that young man again and shouted, young man, look to Jesus Christ. And amazingly, in these circumstances, that young 15-year-old boy did look to Jesus Christ. And at that moment, he cried out to Jesus for his salvation, and he felt a joy come into his life. And he would testify later that he was never the same again because of probably the wor one of the worst sermons he had ever heard preached in his life. That young 15-year-old boy was called Charles Spurgeon. He became known as the Prince of Preachers. He's preached in a great church, the Metropolitan Tabernacle Church in London, his sermons were so popular that the newspaper sellers used to sell them on the street along with the daily newspapers. And it's been estimated that if you took all the pages that have ever been printed of Charles Spurgeon's sermons and laid them end to end, they would stretch from the earth to the moon and back several times. And yet it all came about because of a makeshift preacher out of his depth who just did the best in a very difficult situation. There's been times in my life when I felt like I was put on the spot, when I felt like I wasn't equal to the task, when I felt like my efforts at trying to serve the Lord had been very feeble and accomplished very little. But we never know what God will do. 
I don't know if that Methodist one-time preacher that's preached that day in a snowstorm, I don't know if he ever preached again. I don't know if he ever understood that his preaching had actually achieved anything at all. And yet Charles Spurgeon has inspired down through, through the years since then, literally tens of hundreds of thousands of Christians to do greater things for the Lord. You, when you serve God, you never know what the results will be. And I pray that today, whether you realize it or not, you will do something for the Lord that's going to touch people's lives for years to come. May God bless you today and join us again next time for another Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drada.